My name's Chris from Brettby Garden Brews. It's a new YouTube channel, mostly about vegetable gardening. Uh, can I share my experience with you and what I know about it from about eight years of vegetable gardening from my family and friends. Okay, this is well, this is just a video, introductory video. It's a small garden tour, and then later in other videos, <coughs> I'll talk about individual plants, how to propagate them, look after them, and other gardening tips. So this is one of my two greenhouses. It's June the 20th, and we have a selection of tomatoes in here. All grown from seed. Everything I got everything from seed. We've got cucumbers, market more cucumbers, um, peas for pea shoots, which have been cropping for four months now. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, got other seeds for our summer plantings. Started. We've got some peppers down there, different varieties. All right, we'll take you around the rest of the garden. This is our only apple tree. It's a cooking apple. This is my main growing area, which provides, including the greenhouses, probably. 50 to 70 percent of all our fresh vegetables so we've already had a crop of garlic here which I talk about in another video we've got peas for pods mons two peas varying climbing beans balotti sar french beans cobra elephant garlic which is about ready to pick which I'm gonna do a video about more peas but I'm saving most of these at this end or let them grow fully we're gonna keep them for seed for next year we've got some sorrel some fennel two varieties of onion Elsa Craig and Storan we've got second early potatoes Charlotte potatoes which will be ready in couple of weeks maybe down here we've got some different lettuces a courgette a few leeks planted or growing into autumn we've got some yellow French beans bush beans dwarf grow like a dwarf size We've got a squat butternut squash and a couple of other squashes up there which they're going to grow as the onions come out. The idea is they're going to grow over where the onions are. We've got beetroots. We've got more beetroots down here ready to go in. Swiss chard, sweet corn. On the other side we have parsnips. We've had quite bad germination this year on parsnips because they're old seeds. But there's a good 40 or 50 parsnips. We've got more climbing beans. Carrots, which are netted to prevent the uh, carrot root fly, which we get really bad in this area. And um, we've got broad beans at the back. Quite a few of which we'll be saving for seed because I've run out of broad bean seeds. Here we've got our strawberries. I don't know the variety it was here when we moved in. I know there's, there's a few plants here and I spread it, made a bigger bed of it. And where there's a gap in the middle here, I've got <coughs> two sun gold tomatoes, cherry tomato. This is a little nature area we've got. Um, pond, small pond with four goldfish, some mint, thyme, a few more lettuce. 
my son's video ring and he's growing some lettuces down here. Okay, this is the second greenhouse. Just about 10 or 15 different tomato plants in here. We've got a couple of cucumbers, oregano, and at the back we've got two We've got two, um, I'm going to take one out because it's a bit crowded, we've got two avocado trees which we grew from seed from the supermarket avocado, which you can do a video on that. No fruit yet, they're about three or four years old and getting a bit too big for the greenhouse but they're, um, they need to be covered, they won't survive outside in the winter. Rosemary plant and back here We've got the grape vine, which produce, uh, I forgot what the variety is. It's a black, black grape, and that's grown, you know, from a small one foot stem right over the back of the greenhouse over the last couple of years. And there'll be more things planted in here. We've got a basil and some marigolds just for, just for colour really. We've got more basil to go in and um, that's it so that's my first video I know it wasn't very good but I'll try and improve on the next one thank you